What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Hello, hello everybody. Welcome back to the channel. And yes, you guys can clearly tell I am excited. Because today was Pokemon Day! Which I actually almost completely forgot. Excuse me. And we got a bunch of reveals. I did come in a bit late. But I remembered it was on, and I watched a live stream of someone watching it so I could see it. Ugh, um, I'm not gonna go over, not well. I'm not gonna go over all the boring stuff that I wasn't too interested in. Uh, they did reveal some new characters in Pokemon Masters, the Sword and Shield characters, um, Leon and Hop and Bead. Um, and uh, they revealed something for Pokemon Unite, Zacian, the Galar Legendary is now, now playable in the game. They revealed Pokemon Sleep, a game that's been rumoured for a while now on your mobile phone. Uh, the one thing um, I have to say that was quite funny uh, about the Pokemon Masters thing when they revealed Masters thing. I guess there's voice acting in that game. I, I don't play it. I don't, I, don't, I don't play it. I don't play it on my phone. But fans have been saying, I, find, I found this super funny. Fans have said for years that Pokemon games need to start having voice acting. And then as soon as, as we start hearing the voices in this mobile phone game... The guy I was watching started saying, like, you know what? I take it back. I don't want voice acting anymore. It's just super funny. I've just been seeing so many people constantly say, voice acting, Pokemon needs voice acting. I'm tired of smashing A and there's no voices. And then we get voice acting and then people start being all like, oh, no, 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 no. I don't like that voice of Leon. I don't like that voice of Leon. I just thought it was really funny. I just thought that was really funny when I just cracked up laughing. Honestly. Yeah, there was just really not a whole... They revealed some other stuff from for Pokemon Go players. Yeah, they revealed some stuff for Pokemon Go players. I kind of play Pokemon Go, but not too much. I just pop on just to see what's available, and then I just click out of it. But yeah, but yeah, they revealed something special for Pokemon Go players. They can catch a Pokemon named Gimme Ghoul and send it into their to to finally send it in to their Pokemon Scarlet and Violet games. Yeah, they did a few things for Scarlet and Violet. And then, and then, uh, speaking of Scarlet and Violet, we got more incredible news about Scarlet and Violet. There was this talk rumor going around that there was going to be paradox forms of Suicune and Verizian going around because they they, they were ap apparently supposed to be a part of the game, but now they officially are. They are going to be a part of raids. They are going to be a part of raids. Verizian is exclusive. To Violet, so I can technically go catch that one since I've beaten Violet. And the Suicune one, unfortunately, I haven't beaten Scarlet yet, which, I, as you guys know, I'm still currently in the middle of a playthrough of that game. I might not be able to capture that one, which is called The Walking Wake. Yeah, and, and the Verizian one is called The Iron Leaves, which, of course, they have paradox names. And, tr and, and I must say... They look really cool, especially the Suicune one. Especially the Suicune one. I think they look really cool. And then more Scarlet and Violet news, which, which, which you know, is the main reason what I was tuning in for, to see what, we, what kind of news we could get for Scarlet and Violet. And then we get more news on Scarlet and Violet. We get DLC confirmed for the game. We get DLC confirmed from the game. We've got two parts once again, but this time it's called the lost, the hidden, the lost or hidden treasure of um of uh, what was it called? I forgot. It was the the great crater. I think 
It was the underground area that we had to stay away from. I've completely forgotten the name of it already. Good job, Patrick. You absolute moron. But yeah, it's a DLC. It, it, it's a DL, it's a DLC, oh, it's a DLC, let me go ahead and quickly look it up real quick. I've got time to, I've got time to spare. I've got time, I've got time to spare on my hands super duper quick. It's, The hidden, the hidden treasure of Area Zero. That's what it's. That's what it's called. Area Zero. Area Zero. That's it. Yeah, the hidden air. Yeah, Area Zero. That's what it's called. And there's two parts. There's gonna be two parts, and they're gonna have. Uh, it's gonna be kind of like. It's gonna be kind of like Sword and Shield, but not really. Sword and Shield did have two parts. But the difference is they had two different stories. They had the Island of Armor and the Crown Tundra. This one, however, is the same story, but with two different parts. With two parts. So I feel that so that's gonna be so that is the major change. There's two parts in one particular story. And honestly, I'm very excited for that. So we'll see if the DLC can actually keep me interested in Scarlet and Violet because I've kind of because I've kind of stopped playing. I have to admit I have kind of stopped playing. I am gonna get back into the swing of things again with the DL with uh, Scarlet again very very soon. You know, do more parts, play through more, finish out, pump out more parts as much as I can to. Try and get through the game as quickly as possible, so then that way I can get the DLC and do and do the DLC for you guys. So, so I'll try my best to pump through it as quickly as I can. If I can't, then I guess we'll have to wait and see what what what's up ahead of us. So that is really all I've got to say. <coughs> my throat, my throat's getting choked up. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about this Pokemon Day reveal, the DLC being revealed. And uh, yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait for the DLC, the extra stuff for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I'm super duper excited for it. And I will see you all on the other side. Be sure to like and subscribe.